Ah, che everybody, how are you today? It's a CL Bias on your day coming to you guys with another one of my little videos. Okay, on this video, we are going to talk about the Orisha Aye. Beautiful, amazing, spectacular, undescribable, just fantastic, fantabulous, everything. Ah, yeah. Okay, beautiful, amazing Ocha. For a lot of deeper, amazing, more details on this Orisha, you should check out my book. Okay, check out my book, Expansion of the Podum by Asia by Sonia Day. On page 504, I start speaking about this Ocha. So I'm just going to give you guys a little snippet right now, okay? So Aye is a beautiful entity that walks with Ochun. This is an entity that brings the wealth and the prosperity and the happiness back to Ochun. I have written quite a lot more extensively in my book, but this is a beautiful Orisha for all children of Ochun. All children of Ochun must, well, should receive Aye as soon as possible. And, um, uh, not as soon as possible, but you know, they should receive at some point in their lifetime, they should receive this beautiful, amazing entity that is called Aye. This should not be confused with Orisha Aye or Aye Shaluga. Okay, we are speaking specifically about Aye. Orisha Aye is another entity, and Aye Shaluga is another entity. All entities that walk within the uh, pantheon or the court of Ochun. Okay, Aye is also an entity that is considered to be um, like a river nymph, like a water nymph, um, an entity that lives in the ocean and is just very cl uh, uh, closely related to Ochun. However, like I said, for lots and lots of tons of more information, look, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or seven and a half eight pages on Aye that you can find in my book okay this ocha is going to be spectacular for the children of Ochun to have this is an orisha that always reinforces happiness well-being and stability for the child of Ochun specifically but all olochas um, nowadays definitely do tend to receive this orisha and just worship her but find out much, much more about this beautiful entity, Orisha. I, I'm sorry, this beautiful Orisha, or this beautiful entity, Aye, Aye by itself, okay, Aye, um, in my book, okay? <clears throat> so I also want to say, for those of you who might be feeling depressed, okay, if you have Aye received and you're feeling depressed, a beautiful thing that you can do or a, a very nice thing that you can do is always do a body or head rogation at the feet of Aye. Okay, and to this head rogation, you should add a total of at least five ingredients that should be white. Okay, like five fruits or five ingredients that should be white uh, besides the natural ingredients that go into the body, obviously. And do a body lese Aye. When the children of Ochun do a Bori Aye, this Ocha uplifts the person very quickly because this Ocha is there to do just that when the child specifically for the child of Ochun. Obviously she will help everyone, but for the child of Ochun and specifically doing a Bori Aye is going to like uplift your energy, your mood, your mind, just your thoughts. It just it enhances you very much so. Okay, speak to your godparents, speak to your other people, speak to myself, but you, especially everyone, but seeking happiness and wealth and just stability for themselves also, but specifically internal happiness should come to the feet of Aye and should receive Aye, especially the children of Ochun. If you have Ochun crowned and you do not have Aye received, girl get on it you're behind you're behind 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 get on it it'll help you it'll be really good for you and it'll definitely 
empower you. This Orisha is also very closely related to Olokun, and I'm going to leave it at that in this video. Get my book to find out more. Page 504. I'm pretty sure it's what I had said earlier, but I already flipped through it. But yes, page 504 of my book on Aye. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have learned a little bit in this video, just a little something. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Ache, ache, achito. Bye, you guys.